I'm doing these specifically. I've already done one on TikTok, but I'm going to do one on Instagram as well because I've seen it. My editor, when he looks on Instagram, this is the face you get. This. Oi, James. <gasps> it's honestly like you've just caught a chimpanzee getting hypnotized by just putting the stick in the little termite man. There's nothing else going on in their world. It is scary looking at people, looking at their phones. And you will notice this once you don't have a phone for a long time. People have come up to me afterwards, after shows, and they always say, the best decision you gave me, the best decision I ever made was taking your advice and downgrading to a dumb phone. Isn't that pathetic that we now live in this day and age where success is so easy? Everything's in front of you. The resources are there. You have the resources of the globe in front of your hand. All you need is the discipline to not use social media. And you will be ahead of 99.9% .9 of the population now because everyone's fucking addicted to their phones. The two big killers. If you're gonna just delete something, delete these. You delete your TikTok, you delete your Instagram. The reason you delete your Instagram is, there are studies into this, nothing shreds your self-esteem more than Instagram. It is perfectly photoshopped images of people wearing expensive yacht watches, going on expensive yachts, having the time of their life in Mykonos with a six pack. I'm using the male experience here, but that's actually really the female experience. Oh, they're living the best life at their body is so ready. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter if the both, it's Instagram is evil because it's sitting there saying you are missing out on life and I'm going to make your life feel shit. So you keep missing out on life when really the only thing we have to fear is Instagram itself. Instagram is the killer. Studies on this, again, that show nothing, nothing. Obviously staring at a computer screen all day makes you feel very depressed. But if you're doing hard work on a computer, at the end of the day, you just, you have that, ah, you know that knuckle moment of life, that yeah. You have that feeling at least when you're doing hard, meditative, deep focus work on a computer. You never, ever, ever get that feeling with Instagram. We'll go through this point again. It is because it is the same experiment of the rat that sometimes they press on the button and sometimes they get food, sometimes they press on the button, sometimes they don't. Sometimes Instagram rewards you with something you like, like, oh yeah, us. Oh yeah, that's an even better us. Oh, what the fuck? That's a guy's package. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yeah? But there is just this jackpot endlessly going off of it could be something you like, it could be something you like, it could be something you like. But it's never something that you're gonna really like, is it? Have you ever actually felt fulfilled being on Instagram? Think about that. That is a terrifying thought. You have been robbed of a bunch of moments in your life where you could have felt good. Instead, you traded that for feeling not bored. That's not good. Being bored is good. It actually robbed you of something good and replaced it with making your nervous system go, what's next? Turn you into a filthy, disgusting goblin. Unlike me. Jordan Shanks won't do that. Sign up today. It won't though. You really should sign up. You're really doing yourself a massive disservice. For everything that Instagram has robbed you of, Jordan Shanks will gain you off there, I said it. It's not by a source at all. But the Instagram thing, evil. So evil. There's something about the instantaneousness of it, of it always being there. It's the same thing as TikTok. The shorter and faster these spurts are, you can take up so much information from just the phone, so you just keep going, bip, 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 bip. Oh, I'm in Greece. Now I'm in Morocco. Now I'm in Sydney Harbour. Now some guy's sitting outside throwing a ball with his dog just across the road. Your brain is going everywhere. It is scattered. When a scattered brain produces nothing, it just makes you a much worse person you can see it you can also see that when people start looking at it after a while and there are studies to back this up they start becoming irritable if you get if i look at my editor doing it for a while starts getting shitty if i say put it away i'm not doing anything it turns you into a kid playing a game boy no i'm not doing just because you're you're getting addicted to it you're getting addicted to that little dopamine rush so you start getting a bit snarkier right so there's a bunch of things that it starts deteriorating. It starts deteriorating your mental health and that's so important. I never want to use that word again, all right? It's bent.
I'm not using it here because dickheads use it. And I don't know how for a real thing. Yeah, it is, but it's also a real thing that the worst people you've ever met in your life are obsessed with using the phrase mental health. But they're also Instagram addicts, by the way. Every time they're Instagram addicts. This is the thing that is probably the most corrosive to your success after all of it, because as we say before, 80% of your success in life is going to come from your relationships. That's where 80% of your problems are going to happen, 80% of your joy. When people are on their deathbeds, they always say, I wish I spent more time with my friends and family. And that is definitely what I'm going to say, because these are my friends and family, these walls, right? Uh, I can't say that I'm perfect on it, but I will say that if you are on a machine that is making you irritable and also making you anxious at the same time, that's always because your brain is thinking, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next, making you think in the future in a tiny little short spurt. That is a recipe for being a little rat, scared, looking out of its disgusting little gnawed out hole in the wall that I imagine is perfectly shaped, just like in Tom and Jerry. That's what it turns you into, a rat. The same rat going, can I get food? Can I get the food today? That's why you need to get rid of it. You should not be looking at Instagram. There is no excuse for it. Well, there is an excuse. If that's your business, that's fine. But that's such a tiny amount. And even then, you know what? Honestly, honest to God, sometimes if there's a video out, but I've kind of trained myself out of this as well. But if I know that it's going to be a particularly... Lost me. I don't know English no more. <laughs> I've actually gone. I've turned into that. <laughs> turned into that mutiny Robocop going. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, that's right. When I'm looking at the comments, I used to look at them all the time and they used to upset me a lot. And then I just got out of it. And now I just don't look at the comments at all. I barely go on YouTube full stop. Very, very rarely do I. Sometimes I do look at the comments when I know that it's going to be particularly contentious. There's the word. Boom! That was only 45 seconds of your life. You're never going to get back. I know the internet slogans for boomers. They're the ones always, that's five minutes, I never get back. But I look at that and it makes me feel shit. And so I've tried to train myself out of doing it. Now, I'm not definitely not perfect, but I will say this. God, the longer you can go, the more you can be a whale in the ocean, going deeper and deeper in, the more you will be able to progress because you're going into deep focus. The problem with Instagram, the really scary thing, is once you have been distracted, even I'm talking about a telephone call, I'm talking about someone knocking on the door, as soon as you've been distracted from a task, it takes you close to an hour to get back into focus. And then by then you start getting fidgety and then you want to get out of focus again. So it's like it takes quite a few attempts to even get to the point where you're in deep focus, where you can truly be creative, where you can truly problem solve, it takes a lot to get there. What happens when you look at Instagram? I think it goes up to four hours. I'm gonna have to recheck that, but I think it takes your brain four hours to stop going. And that is compounded, by the way, by the longer you spend on it. The longer you spend on it, the longer it takes you to detox. So there are a lot of people here right now who think that they've had a clear brain because comparatively to looking at Instagram, they have a clear brain. But here's the shocker. You've been looking at Instagram so much that you can't remember what a clear brain is, especially if you're younger. Especially if you're younger and you grew up on this shit, there is no way you can remember. If you replace social media and computer games with playing with Lego, you do not remember a clear state of mind. Trust me, you don't. Doesn't that terrify you? Doesn't it terrify you that in this day and age, the key to success, the one key. Discipline has been replaced with the discipline to stay off your phone. And the way that you do it is to just rank it out of the environment entirely. It's the same thing. Look, I don't think I'll ever be cured. Talking filthy habits, I don't think I'll ever be cured of not wanting to smoke cigarettes. I've, I've tried everything. I don't know. It just, it, it, I've got one of those brains, yeah? So what do I do instead? I make sure that I'm never in the environment. 
And if I am in the environment instantly, boom, but that's so much better than the constant thing. The same thing with fat cunts, right? No offense. <laughs> fat cunts, they have their little chips in the corner and they're just like, this is a sometimes food. It's never a sometimes food. They just eat it and then they go replenish it. And the sometimes becomes every day. And it's the same thing with cigarettes. If you have cigarettes around, hard. Oh, sorry, easy. What you try and do is you make it as difficult as possible to get them. Yeah? It's the same with all habits. You have to get rid of it. So when people say, oh yeah, I just took it off my phone. It's a start. It's not the best solution. The best solution is to just completely cut it. I cannot tell you how much happier my life is when I have no interaction with social media. So much happier. And I can see it with all of my friends and I feel really bad because they actually have to take up the slack. But I am in that position, right? I understand that sometimes you will have to be doing it for it, but be honest with yourself, really. There's very few times that you will ever need to be on Instagram. Very few times. So you can get it off your phone. That is definitely a start. I have to say it again. Get the dumb phone. I'm sorry to keep reminding you, but if I can just get seven of you every time I say that to get off, that is seven more people that will turn into extremely productive, efficient rigorous people in the world and those people will make a huge difference do you want to be in it do you really want to be in it then i think you know what to do you need to sign up to jordan shanks you will be one of those top few anointed people you will you will because again i you should not know who i am there is no way you should know who i am i did not come from a rich family i had no connections i built all of this myself and when i say myself now i've got a staff behind me, but initially, and they obviously do miraculous work, yeah? Now it's a team. To get to that team level, it was just me. It was, and when I say just me, it was the books. I can condense those books for you and I can do it for a price so low that you will, I don't know, you'll, you'll come yourself. It's, it's, it's fucking cheap. It's cheap and the results are disproportionate. For every dollar you invest in it, you'll get a thousand back at some point. At some point, all of these messages click in your brain and then you go into overdrive. It's a trajectory. We're going to do it together. But this is the cheapest, most effective life coach you'll ever get. Don't not do yourself the disservice. Sign up today for more reminders. Love you to bits. Bye.